Hi everyone, this is going to be a meditation to connect to the element water. And it's taken from this book, The Enchantment of the Fairy Realm, by Ted Andrews. And it's called The Meeting of the King of the Undines. Begin this meditation just as you did with the previous exercise. Find a place outdoors, if possible, where you will not be disturbed. A place where you can plant your feet in the water is most, ex most effective. And I understand that since you're doing this from the computer, that you're most likely not in the area with water. Just imagine a rushing seashore just taking its wave onto you. You feel the sea breeze. You feel the water mist upon you. Now close your eyes and relax. Feel yourself connected to the water. You may even wish to splash your face lightly. Know that as you do this, you are attracting your own watery element. As you relax with your eyes closed, visualize yourself sitting by the seashore. The sound of the waves is comforting in its own continuousness. The rock upon which you sit occasionally catches a wave as it rolls in, and you feel it sprays upon your face. It is stimulating, and the water has this hint of salt. It makes you realize that here water and earth intersect. The earth before you is salt, soft, rich, green, fertile, with unseen light. The sun is not visible against the distant horizon, and you are not sure if it is dusk or dawn. The air is soft, and as you look, You begin to see wisps of mist and fog. At first, the wisps are scattered, but they begin to grow and draw together. They swirl and dance every, as if actually coming to life out of the sea itself. The mist begins to form among the beach, so you cannot see where the shore ends and the water begins. Within the shifting sea mist, you begin to see out a vague form. The mist actually seems to dance around it, as if it is the center of all life and activity. Somehow you know that it is Nixa, the king of the element of water. You whisper his name more to yourself than to the waters, but the sea mist responds, shifting and dancing around the figure. It becomes more clearly defined. A second time you speak the name, this time a little louder. You do this as if to test the mists, if they will shift and dance in response to your voice. The mist swirls and arches around the figure, and you begin to see it move. Yet a third time you speak the name, Nixa. Sending it out strong and clear, the mist parts and Nixa steps out from the water and onto the shore before you. His face is a soft shade of green and his robe is a deep, rich green, eggs with the very forms of the ocean itself. His face shifts and changes, almost as if in, re in response to each wave of the ocean itself. His eyes hold your attention with a great healing. He motions for you to follow them, and you stand and walk beside along the shore. Before long, you come to a rocky area that contains several tidal pools. He motions for you to come sit beside one, and he steps in the middle of it. He bends and cups some of the water into his hands and holds it before you. This is the lifeblood of the earth. Without it, no life could.
could be sustained here. Without it, you could not exist. At its most primal level, your own blood is no different than is in my hands. All fluids are linked together, and one source of life fluid affects the other. Ningsa turns his hand over and restores the water he cupped within them to the tidal pool below. He waves his hands across the surface of the pool and the scenes begin to appear. You see the life, essence, and energy of water everywhere. You see rivers, streams, and ponds from all around the world and see that the earth is looking at it from a distant star with a blue water covering most of its surface. Again, he passes his hand over the pool and the images change. You see rivers and other natural water sources polluted with chemicals and toxic wastes. You see the beings both strange and disfigured by such activities. You see the life of seas dying and you see the vitality of crops and food foods weakened by poor water. Then you see the image of the human body superimposed over the waters over the natural world. As these waters change, the human body responds. As you observe, the body ages before your eyes. You are even able to see the flow of blood through the veins and the arteries to all the organs of the body. In the beginning, the blood is glowing with vibrant satyr red, strong and healthy. As the body ages, it is exposed to impure water sources and foodstuffs grow with them. The blood changes from vibrant to a duller stage. The polluted waters of the world have an ill effect on the human body. It makes you feel tired and clean and thirsty for pure water. As a stream is polluted in the world, so the stream within your own body is polluted. As the waters are respected and harvested, your own body will be respected and harvested. Though humans believe to be otherwise, no part of the world is separate from them. Everything influences everything else. Yet again, he passes his hand over the tidal pool. Now you see images of water sources of the world that you had never expected. You see forms, faint and delicate dancing upon the crests of the wave. You see deep ocean creatures of life and vibrancy. You are shown beautiful devas and nymphs that surround and inhabit every natural source of water. You see sources of water and shores that bring health and new compassion to the world. You see yourself strong and vital working, playing, and living among them. You see a joint effort of both realms working together, and you see yourself flowing, strong, clean, and pure. From the water comes great life, abundance, and health. As you open to the watery world, you will have an opportunity to work with those in this realm. To change what has gone before, you will learn to bring forth from the waters of your own life, environment, new inspiration, and abundance. Nixer reaches again into the tidal pool. He reaches a beautiful colored shell. He then fills it with water from the pool and pours it over your head. It is cool and it streams down your face. There is a slight stinging of the eyes, but it passes quickly. You wipe your eyes and look again at Nixa. He stands brighter and stronger than before. You see and feel his energy deep within your soul, more intensely than ever before. The water has cleansed your vision. The world around you has changed. Everything is clearer and cleaner. 
In the distance, bobbing upon the ocean's surface, are beautiful mermaids. Their eyes fit lovingly on you. Several dolphins jump upon the depths a short distance from above the shore, and you are positive that there are fairies riding them. Tiny water sprites and seen rising the crest of each wave emitting soft musical laughter as the wave break upon the shore. Nisa holds the shell still containing water to your mouth and drink. It is sweet and crisp. You never knew that water could taste like this. It fills you with love and the waters of it belong to you. It also leaves you with a sense of longing for even more. Nisa then places the shell in your hand. This is a sign of promise to you that we will help you and open the mysteries of water to you. Do not be fooled by it, though, for it carries great responsibility. Water is an intoxicating elixir, for it carries great responsibility. Water, if you accept this, you are promising to immerse yourself in the fill of your life with it. By accepting this shell, you accept the responsibilities and joy of it and within the betterment of them all. If you are unsure of this commitment, leave the shell within the tidal pool. Here it will remain until you, the time for you to choose it. The choice is always yours. Nixa passes his hand over the tidal pool again, and the sea mist rises from it. As it surrounds and envelops you, he is drawn down into it, and as the mist dissipates, there is no sign of him. You stand holding the shell in your hand. You look out onto the ocean, and there, standing upon the crest of the wave, you see a figure of Nixa. Surrounding him are sprites and beings of the water element. A whale passes closely behind him, covering him with a shower of water. Then there is nothing but the ocean. You look back to the tidal pool at your feet. You think of the element of water and all that Nixa told you. You look at the simple beauty of this shell in the hand and all the significance. And you make your decision. As you do, the image of the ocean in the store shore begins to fade and you find yourself back where you started at the beginning of this meditation.